Welcome back to my channel, baddies. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a fall tumbler peekaboo. It's super duper cute, and I can't wait for you guys to watch the tutorial. I hope that you love it. And also, I've made a little bit of changes to my craft room. I hope you like it. I'll have to do another tutorial and show you guys all of the things that I've done on a budget so that you guys could do them too if you guys like my setup. And I just wanna tell you guys thank you so much for all the love. I do have a Patreon group. Um, I'm gonna link it in the description of my video. You're totally welcome to join if you want. I also have some baddie merch um, available, so I will link that as well. Thank you guys for coming back to watch yet another video. This goes. Let's get started creating this beautiful creation. Now, I am going to try to apply the glitter with UV resin. You do not have to do it this way. Um, I just wanted to try it just to see if it would work. And I know that UV resin is a little bit pricey, so I do not want you to waste any of your materials. You are totally welcome to apply your glitter using regular epoxy. Okay, this is just something I wanted to try, but um, you can totally use it too if you want to get your project moving a lot faster. You know, like usually when we apply glitter with epoxy, we have to wait for hours until the epoxy is dry to the touch. And so this was just my way of creating a shortcut because I am impatient. Hee <laughs> hee, patience is not my virtue. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your UV resin or epoxy and you are gonna spread it kind of in a wide area. You wanna create like a wide space because we are going to sprinkle lots of different colors to create this beautiful like fall collage looking area. That's where we're gonna put our fall leaves and that's where we're gonna peekaboo. So you want that section to be kind of big so that you're not running out of space when you go in there to apply your leaf decals, okay? So I also wanna tell you guys that I have my headphones in so I am hoping that you guys can hear me really good and this is blocking out any background noise but if you can hear noise it's literally me straightening my hair <laughs> i'm always on the go you guys i'm so sorry i am always trying to multitask but you know what i'm making it work because i still want to be able to provide you guys um with a tutorial for this saturday which is today i guess i mean it's not today yet but when you listen to this it's going to be today tomorrow for saturday oh, okay i'm done so you want to make sure that you do a very thin coat of epoxy or uv resin because you don't want your glitter to be slippity sliding everywhere okay um not you definitely don't want that you don't want it slipping and sliding like i slid into bad bunny's dms <laughs> So just take your favorite colors that you think look beautiful and sprinkle them in different sections to create that little glitter montage collage, you know? It doesn't, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no wrong or right way. We just want the colors inside of the leaf to be like a mixture of all the colors that represent fall. Once you've completely covered the area, you take your UV resin lamp, your UV lamp, and you hold it over until the epox the resin is dry to the touch. If you didn't do it with UV resin and you use regular epoxy, um, then I you can pretty much coat the entire tumbler um, in epoxy and then just do the whole thing at once like you would for any regular cup. So now that I have that first section cured, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next spot, okay? Which is going to be the swirls. This is where I'm gonna start with the swirls. I guess I wanted this to kind of be like a Milky Way, like a like a peekaboo, half peekaboo, half Milky Way, uh, but I guess you can call it whatever you wanna call it. Just don't call it a liar. Okay, sorry. And you are going to choose take the colors of your choosing and create those swirls just like if you were going to do a milky way and i believe i can link my one of my milky way tutorials on here so um if you see it at the top right of the screen that means i successfully did it if you do not that means i am not that smart hee 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 okay sorry i blacked out guys i miss you like i know i post every saturday but why do i feel like it takes forever for me to get to see you guys again and talk to you guys again and like hang out 
Um, it just, it feels like forever, which is crazy because I've had the crazy, okay, all right, sorry. Um, I just feel like I have so much to catch you guys up on. But you're gonna repeat the process throughout the whole tumbler. And once it's completely dry, you're gonna take polycrylic sealer and you are going to spray it completely, okay? What we're doing here is we are sealing our glitter so that whenever we go back in there with our epoxy, it's not going to move everywhere and create lumps and bumps and just create a big old mess, okay? So really important for you to seal it. You can use Rust-Oleum Clear Spray. I'm just not a huge fan of it, so I am using my favorite, which is the Minwax, okay? Now, you wanna protect your booger hooks using a glove, and we are going to pour um, 40 mls of epoxy um, to cover our glitter. Actually, I, I don't think I did 40. I did 30. Yes, I did 30 for sure. We are going to do 30 mls of epoxy, 15 mls of A, and 15 mls of B, and we are going to cover our tumbler completely. Now, I can already tell this is not going to be enough um, epoxy to completely cover our tumbler like all the way to where none of the glitter is poking out but that's totally fine because we are going to come back in and do a second coat now a lot of people will tell you to just do super duper 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 thick coats to eliminate the amount of coats I disagree I would tell you to just take your time and do two coats because you're not gonna be able to pop micro bubbles through super duper thick coats of epoxy. So I feel like you are jeopardizing the quality of your epoxy if you do that. And another tip that I have for you guys is if you take 100% acetone and put it in a little spray bottle, I'm sorry, not acetone. Don't do acetone. 100% alcohol, 99% alcohol, and you spray it onto the tumbler, it is going to also pop any of the remaining bubbles. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking a little bit of Harvest from Glitiful. There will be a link and a discount code in my buy, in my the description. Okay, what is happening? <laughs> I am gonna take a few, like a few of those um, leaves and just sprinkle them in the areas where I'm gonna do the Milky Way. I am not gonna sprinkle them in the area where I'm gonna do my peekaboo, only the area where the Milky Way is gonna go. And then I'm gonna come back eight hours later after the cup is completely dry and I'm gonna do a second coat of epoxy over this first coat. And then if that provides a smooth enough surface, I'm gonna cut out my decals, which are my leaves, okay? Now the SVG that I purchased, I purchased and it already came with the leaf outline and the inside part of the leaf so they already do that for you you don't have to do that in design space or any of that it already comes like that for you which is super convenient super duper and now you can cut the leaves in whatever size you want if you want your leaves to be a little bit smaller that's totally okay if you like the size that i did that's totally okay too the reason i wanted to do this many leaves and to do them this big is because I really wanted to expose that really pretty like little mosaic ooh mosaic that little mosaic um, of glitter that we did um, you know I don't want to cover the whole thing up so that's why I did big leaves because I wanted to really show that so once you have applied your decals completely and you have them exactly where you want, you're gonna take a glue gun, okay? Now, what the glue gun is gonna do is whenever we come in here and apply our mica, our, our mica chromes, our chrome mica, hold on a second. Our mica, no, 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 our chroma flakes. <laughs> We are going to be able to easily find our decals. They're not going to get lost under there, okay? So <clears throat> just a tip for you. If you put a dot of hot glue over your decals whenever you do peekaboo and you do glitter on top of them, it's going to be really easy for you to find them and pull them up. Oh, no, I hope that did, that noise wasn't really annoying because I just accidentally banged my, my hair comb on my hair. Um, ooh, it smells like burnt weave in here. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Ooh, that can't be good for my hair. Um, anyway, you guys, so we're going to let those glue dots dry. And then once we do that, we are going to take Tacket. Okay, we're going to take Tacket and we are going to apply with a fine bristle brush, just like we would if we were doing the Tacket method with anything else. And remember, guys, you want to try to get your, you want to try to get your coat of tack it as thin as possible and have it not be streaky because that's what's going to help your applic your mica application come on a lot smoother so here you're just going to see me kind of go over this until i have a pretty smooth 
you know, thin coat of tacket. You know, you want it to be pretty thin. Not as thin as me, because that would be too thin. <laughs> but you want it to be fairly thin. And basically, you're just going to take your fine bristle brush and just brush it over. Like if it was, you know, Thanksgiving and you were brushing some butter over your turkey. I don't know. Whatever you put over your turkey. I'm, I'm not judging you. You could put peanut butter on, on it for all I care. Listen, food is food, okay? I'm not judging you. But you basically just want to get it nice and thin. And after this, you are going to see me take my heat gun to apply some warm air to dry this completely until it's clear. And then we'll come back and do the next step. But I really want you to listen to some of the songs I love. So BRB. With your feet in the air, your head on the ground. Try this trick and spin it, yeah. Your head will collapse cause there's nothing in it And you ask yourself, where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? And I was swimming in the Caribbean Animals were hiding the rock Except the little fish But they told me he swears Trying to talk to me Koi, koi Where's my mind? Where's my mind? Where is my mind? Ah Okay, we are totally back. I hope you were enjoying that cover of um, Daniela Andrade. I love her so much. You probably know this because you hear her all the time in my YouTube videos. But anyway, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a dry brush and we are literally just dipping it into those chroma flakes and brushing it over our tumbler. I realize that the more you try to pick up with your brush, the better result you're going to have when you apply it over that um, tacket method. And I am freaking over the moon about how awesome this looks like i think it looks so stinking good and i'm so excited for you guys to try this even if you don't try this exact tumbler design but if you can try something with chroma flakes like this so worth it so once you do that you're going to brush off any excess and then you're going to come in and do the weeding now make sure you weed very carefully it's just like when you do any other peekaboo you don't want to scratch that spray paint or that mica um, flake especially because you did such a beautiful application then you're going to seal it with that polycrylic spray that i showed you guys okay and when it's fully dry you're going to come back in and you're going to add your epoxy i did I did 40 mLs, okay? And then I applied my first coat of epoxy, or my, a thin coat, and then the epoxy that was left, I put some mica powder in like a rust orange color, and then I took a popsicle stick and I started drizzling them over the part where the Milky Way is gonna be. So you wanna make sure you keep that off of where you're, basically where you applied your mica powder, your mica flakes. And a good way for you to keep control over where they're going to go, where your swirls are going to go, is by removing any excess with your finger and wiping it on a paper towel. That's going to help you control. Then you pop your bubbles. And now we are going to come do the weeding for our leaf outlines. This was so convenient to be able to buy a file that already had just the outlines and I didn't have to try to figure out like how to make them myself. And then what I did was... I weeded them, I put them on some transfer tape, and then I just kind of played, you know, <laughs> match the outline with a leaf. <laughs> and you just wanna take your time for this step. You wanna do it as carefully as possible because you do want your outline to match as perfectly as possible with the leaf shape that you have on your tumbler. And so you just wanna be careful um, and just make sure that you are taking your time when you are lining these up and doing it slowly. I am not gonna lie, I had to rip up one or two and start over, which was super frustrating. But overall, I think it was worth it because I think it gives the tumbler just like a really cute look, a cutesy pootsy little look. 
I just went around and applied all of my leaf outlines and then I forgot to record this part so I'm sorry I feel like in all of my tutorials I always forgot to do one step I don't know why I'm like this but I hope you're still walking away with some value and learning something <laughs> after we are completely done you want to take your heat gun and just apply a little bit of heat over your um, decals because it is holographic vinyl and holographic vinyl is super duper annoying it's easy for it to like you know um lift under epoxy um so we don't want that you know we don't want it to repel our epoxy and we don't want it to lift so apply a little bit of heat to make it adhere and then once it's cooled off take a little bit of quick coat and when i say a little bit i mean you just need like little tiny drops and then take a fine bristle brush and just brush over your all of your decals with that um quick coat now you want it to be a very thin coat and it's and you need to be very careful. I've had a lot of people message me and tell me like, oh, hey, um, my quick coat didn't dry clear. I was just wondering what I did wrong. If your quick coat isn't drying clear, you either did way too thick of a coat or you didn't fully let it dry before you went in with epoxy. So that's very important. Once it's completely dry, you're gonna seal with your final coat of epoxy, pop the bubbles, and there it is. I hope you guys love it so much. Until next time, besitos.